Love and Hip Hop Miami is unique because we have on one side of the bridge paradise, and on the other side of the bridge we got sacrifice. Miami is definitely divided. All the people that come visit Miami, everybody has the ideal of the paradise Miami. Paradise is South Beach. Paradise is the beautiful side of Miami. It's the water, it's my days off, it's the spa. Walking the strip, having lunch, that's paradise. But nobody really knows about the other side, and it's a lot of struggle, it's a lot of other going on. I grew up in some of the roughest parts of Miami. It's dirty, it's gritty, it's grimy. We struggle. I've lived through two major hurricanes and two major riots. I'm from the sacrifice side, you know what I'm saying? Miami, paradise and sacrifice. Growing up in a single parent home, you know, moms was hardly around, she was busy working. And, you know, I was following the wrong crowd at a young age. Having all that time on my hands to get into trouble kind of shaped me to the mind I am today. It's hard for me because my family's everything to me, but I'm not what I'm supposed to be to them. My dad had sent me from Mexico to America to be a lawyer. I was trying to make my father happy and proud, so I was in law school and on the side I was doing fashion. I decided to drop out of school and become like a full-time stylist. But the problem with my father was, he said, if you become a stylist, like I will disown you. So I packed up my stuff and I drove to Atlanta and I became a stylist. For like a minute, I was like homeless. My dad didn't speak to me for about two years. In America, you know, I'm like a whole superstar, but in Mexico, I'm a disgrace. He wishes I was a completely different person. It's the struggle of my life. There was a time period in my life that I was in and out of jail like every week for the dumbest driving suspended license, petty theft. I was homeless, house hoppings. I was heading down a dark road that there would have been no point of return. I was just doing what I had to do to survive. There are things that I've done that I am not proud of, but I'm not ashamed of them either. The worst time of my life was getting dropped from the first label that I was ever signed to. And I look back now and I'm like, damn, I was 15 years old and it was the greatest thing that could possibly happen to a 15 year old. I left school, I was like popping, I got a car, I was the shit. And it got taken away. And that moment I had to start from scratch. My grandfather died too. Like, my grandfather's the strongest man that I know and um, he was the biggest believer in me and my dreams and um, he passed away, and when he passed away, I was just like, wow. And I just feel like I owe him to, to sing this last song type of thing. I grew up very religious, so I feel like no matter what I go through now and whatever is gonna come, it's part of God's plan. I grew up definitely having it hard in some of the roughest parts of Miami. There's circumstances in my life. One specific situation years ago, I was walking home and I got robbed at gunpoint. But in that moment, I had an epiphany. I realized then that like, this is not the life that I want to live. It basically just turned on like a light switch for me to just be much more driven and go out there and get what I want and make my dreams happen. I grew up in a big family. I grew up pretty good. Came from a family, you know, pretty well off, so I didn't have a bad childhood. Everyone has sacrifices. One of the lowest, worst times in my life is losing my little brother. I don't think nothing is as low as that. It's just not explainable. It's one of those feelings that can never be replaced, never be fixed, never could heal. It's just up and down, good and bad, happy, sad. It's one of them things I just would never, like, honestly, totally accept. There's nothing that I'm ashamed of. I was born in Goose and I grew up in Liberty City. I, I had to sacrifice, my mama had 11 kids, so I never had my own room, my own bed. I didn't, we didn't even have enough sheets and pillows. So I sacrificed a lot. I, when I got to a certain age, I sacrificed a lot of my childhood by going to the chain game for surviving. Come outside half of the time knowing that the lights wasn't on or knowing that your mama had so many kids from so many different men, or knowing you had roaches in your house. There's nothing I've done in my lifetime, not even going to prison twice before the age of 16, that I'm ashamed of. 
I grew up with a single mother who immigrated to the United States by herself, crossing the Mexican border. I'm always working three, four jobs in order to provide. I've had a lot of low points in my life that I'm still recuperating from. Unfortunately, I was in a bad romantic situation with my ex. He used to be my manager as well. I was just so happy to be on stage and performing that I really didn't realize till years passed by. I was working for free. He ended up kicking me out with my mother, knowing that I, we didn't have any family or anybody because we were just here. I was homeless for a little bit. As famous as I was, as many followers as I had, no one ever knew because that hasn't stopped my happiness. It hasn't stopped who I am. It definitely made me a stronger woman. When it comes to Miami, the difference between the other side of the bridge and this side of the bridge. Sacrifices, you learn how to be tough, and it molded me to be the person I grew up to be. I know a thing or two about sacrifice. I started from scratch, and I've done everything by myself. If you work hard and you grind, you can make it to the top. That's what makes Miami special, because we got, you know, the best of both worlds. Adversity builds character, and anything that I have gone through, has built me up to who I am today. You know what I'm saying? That's Miami for you, man. My life is how I was written, so at the end of my career, my legacy and my life, I just want everybody to know that we are here to enjoy the rest of our life, and we ain't going nowhere. Welcome to the 305 Love and Hip Hop fam. Do yourself a favor and subscribe to the VH1 YouTube channel to watch more videos. Don't miss the action.